Hello gardeners. Uh, today I'm dismantling the hotbed. Now this is a rather brilliant thing that's uh, managed to uh, germinate all these plants and the ones that I've got out in an already full uh, vegetable garden. And the way it works is that you make a big square cube really of um, what are these things, pallets, and then you, f you, you line the sides with cardboard and then you fit it with horse manure ideally as fresh as possible and then what happens is you get a huge amount of heat that gets produced up to about 70 degrees centigrade you wait a few days until that reduces and then what you do is you put um, a layer on, a layer of um, something like carpet on the top I use a kind of felt stuff that you can see just there so you put that on the top and then you can put another pallet or or um, pieces of wood on top and then you can sit your trays so trays that where you've got seeds like this that you've sown you sit them on top and with the heat it means that they germinate really quite quickly now i started doing that in january uh, and so all of these seeds will have been germinated in that way and it's a really brilliant way of um, of creating heat in a greenhouse without using any electricity or anything like that at all and then at the end of it what you get is really pretty you know you can see that starting to rot down there'll be worms in it now obviously not when it's at 70 degrees but now there will it doesn't smell of anything at all and I can use this straight on the on the vegetable garden as a mulch um, or alternatively I can put it into a compost heap and let it compost down further anyway that's the principle of a hotbed it's a it's a Victorian uh, kind of invention really uh, and it's worked to keep the um, greenhouse above freezing all winter and we have had several frosts because as you know we're right up in up in the hills uh, in fact we had a frost last night but and I had actually yesterday planted out some of these black-eyed peas uh, and I see that they're perfectly happy uh, so that's good and I also put out some beans like these these are purple french beans uh, and they're out in the garden and have survived that frost so i'm really very happy with all that anyway happy gardening you can see that as i get deeper and deeper it's better and better uh, composted and the reason for that is i've put two lots in so this lot went in in the beginning of january uh, and then i had another lot because it was sinking so fast it was composting really really fast uh, and so what I've got right down here, this can definitely be used directly on the garden. And also, again, it's got all these lovely worms in it. So that's going to work absolutely beautifully on the beds. And I don't have to go and buy any compost. Win-win, I'd say.